everyone. My name is Betty Guardado and I am your Vice Mayor and your District 5 City Council Member. Today we are here to talk to you about something that is very important. We're here to talk to you about the Census. It is incredibly important to have everyone fill this form out. Today we have Albert Santana with us who is our Director and he is going to talk to us about the Census. Welcome Albert. Thank you so much for doing this with us today. Thank you so much, Vice Mayor, for having us out in your district on our canvassing day. <laughs> yeah, so we just had a couple, we had a couple of questions for you. Um, we wanted to know, one, given that we had this hurricane hit us, how, how much longer do people have to fill out the form? So, uh, again, thank you for having us. And so as a part of with the national pandemic, the Census Bureau did adjust the deadline for people to respond. So instead of it being at the end of July, now you have all the way until October 31st, which is Halloween as well. And while we do have extra time, we don't want to move, move, miss a beat. We want people to know they need to reply, reply as fast as they can, and make sure that we get self-response rates. So we do have a little more time, but we're not going to rest. We're going to work hard every day to make sure everyone gets counted. And who can fill out the census form? So the, uh, anyone living in the household that has the ability to fill it out can fill it out. So if one person fills it out for the entire household. So whether it's your immediate family or if you have family members living with you, anyone living in your household that was there on April 1, want to make sure that everyone gets counted, especially our little ones. we got to make sure all children are counted as well. Right. No, I have two little ones and neither one have been counted. They're taking up resources, but they haven't been counted. So I understand how important, how important that is. The city has invested a lot of money into making sure that everyone is counted. Um, and so explain to us, what's the urgency? Why is it that we need everyone to be counted? What are some of those programs that either could be in jeopardy or what are some of the benefits on having everyone counted in the census? So Vice Mayor, that's, that's a great question. The census is truly a lifeline for all the city services that we provide to our communities throughout the entire city on a daily basis. So everything from libraries, after school programs, vital programs like Head Start, housing, transportation, public safety, all of it is impacted by making sure that everyone gets counted. For every person counted represents about $30,000 per person of resources that come into our community. For us as a city, it represents about $866 million on an annual basis. So if you take that and times it by 10, it's in the billions of dollars of resources. So it's so important. We're the fastest growing city in the country and in order to make it growing with quality, we have to make sure everyone participates in the census. And how, how many minutes does it take? Or does it take a day? Does it take two days? How long does it take to fill it out? The census is truly very simple. It's less than 10 minutes. For example, in my household of four people, we were able to fill it out in about five minutes. So it's definitely easy. It's so important and it's absolutely safe. All census employees have a lifetime oath to never share any information with anyone. So I wanna make sure that all the community members, everyone in District 5 knows that it's easy to participate and it's absolutely safe and confidential. And does it take the, all the adults doing it in the household or can one adult do it for everyone in the household? One adult can do it for everyone in the household. So not everyone has to do it. You just have to know that one person can do it for your entire household and you all are counted and the benefits for our community and for your house are, are, are really great as participating. And what information do you need with you when you're filling it out? You just have to have like basic information. They'll ask you for a phone number, confirming your address, how many people live there, ethnicity and race, and that's pretty much all they ask you. It's a total of eight questions that are on form and it's pretty simple to fill out. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Albert, for being with us today. This is something that's an, a very important issue for our district, for the city, and we're looking forward to continue our partnership with you. Absolutely. As you guys heard him, we are out here today. We're gonna to be doing some canvassing. You're seeing the website right now. Pull it up, fill it out. It takes less than 10 minutes, and you and your young children will be counted. See you next time, thank you.